Chapter 603 Dual Legacy. Long Xiaoya was carrying Yu Shishui. There was a mysterious glow on Yu Shishui's face as she stared at Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong. Surprisingly, she seemed to be very calm about the whole thing. Let's talk later and leave now. This was the first thing Wang Xiaoyao said after seeing Huo Yuao. Prior to this, just when the barrier formed by the high-energy compression eraser tools had disappeared, Huo Yuao had received a transmitted message from Wang Xiaoyao. He had been told by Long Xiaoyao to cover him. At that instant, Huo Yuao actually hesitated. Even though he had only heard Long Xiaoyao's voice, he felt that Yu Shishui was probably still alive. If he were to save Long Xiaoyao, he would also end up saving Yu Shishui. However, he decided after a short moment that favors and grudges were meant to be settled separately. He should return the favor to Long Xiaoyao before thinking about how he should exact his revenge on Yu Shishui. Even if Long Xiaoyao were to try and stop him, he would never let Yu Shishui get away scot-free. After all, it would be disastrous to let an evil soul master who was also an ultimate duo get away. The chaotic explosions continued for a good 15 minutes before they ended. By then, both Shu Tianran and Zhu Zi were already very anxious. In fact, this bumps had already formed on Shu Tianran's skin. If the Dragon Emperor Duo and the Death God Duo were still somehow able to survive, he would definitely not be able to bear the consequences. In fact, no one would be able to take their off. The the entire Sun Moon Empire would probably be destroyed by their rage and fury. Ju Zi, do you think they're dead? Shu Tianran turned around and looked at Ju Zi. Dead, they must be dead. Ju Zi exclaimed with determination. This was the first time she sensed cowardice from Shu Tianran. He was actually afraid of what might happen. Yes, they must be dead. They have to be dead. Shu Tianran exclaimed. Right now, all of Radiant City had been locked down by the soldiers and soul engineers. However, their methods were useless against Duo Yuao. Once he unleashed his imitation, no one would be able to detect him or the people whom he was bringing along with him. After traveling for a good 50 kilometers, which was but a short moment for a transcendent Duo, Duo Yuao stopped within a small forest. He had to stop now. In fact, at this instant, he revealed a very serious and solemn expression. He was about to face a very difficult problem, even though he really did not want to confront it. He knew he had to settle it now. After seeing how Huo Yuao had stopped, Tang Wutong naturally stopped moving. She held hands with him as both of them turned around. Long Xiaoyao had been following behind them while carrying Yu Shishui on his back. At this instant, Huo Yuao noticed how Long Xiaoyao's scales had turned dark red. His old face had also become very red. However, it was not a healthy kind of red. In Huo Yuao's eyes, all he saw was the aura of death. That's true. Even an ultimate duo should not be able to come out alive from those frightening explosions. Long Xiaoyao and Yu Shishui are already more than 200 years old, and are definitely past their peak. Hence, they should be in an extremely dire state. Long Xiaoyao placed Yu Shishui onto the ground gently as he propped her up to allow her to sit up straight. However, Yu Shishui raised one of her hands as she held onto Long Xiaoyao's shoulder. She wanted to stand next to him. What surprised both Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong was how Yu Shishui had seemed to become younger. Long Xiaoyao was right. Yu Shishui was very beautiful when she was younger. In fact, she did not pale in comparison to Tang Wutong at all. The gentle and radiant golden aura she was giving off made her seem very holy and sacred. This was exactly the same as the time Huo Yuao had first seen Yu Di use her angel martial soul. Her skin was fair and porcelain like. The smile she had on her face seemed to tell Huo Yuao that she let go of all of her grudges. Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong were very shocked by the transformation in her look attitude. They had no idea what the two ultimate duo's current states were. They only knew that both of them seemed to be behaving in a strange way. Huo Yuao could still sense the pure and powerful soul power fluctuations from Yu Shishui's body. She no longer seemed to have the aura that evil soul masters possessed. However, she didn't seem to be radiating any life energy either. On the other hand, Long Xiaoyao's body was still radiating fairly powerful life energy fluctuations. However, Huo Yuao could tell that they were deteriorating and were terribly unstable. Senior Long. Huo Yuao forced himself to look at Long Xiaoyao. Long Xiaoyao sighed and said, I know, there's no chance that you will let Shishui go today. I understand where you're coming from. Both of you should also be able to tell that we're almost dead. However, I don't know if I can fulfill my own wish before then. I had originally wanted you to find me after you reached rank 98, but it seems like I'm running out of time. Huo Yuao kept silent. He had heard Long Xiaoyao's story with Yu Shishui from Long Xiaoyao himself. In fact, he could understand the pain in his heart. Yuao, can I ask something of you? Long Xiaoyao asked. Huo Yuao remained silent before saying, As long as it doesn't involve me letting Senior Yi go, I can promise you any other thing. Huo Yuao knew that Yu Shishui and Long Xiaoyao would never be able to defeat him and Tang Wutong in their current state. Long Xiaoyao shook his head and said, When I eventually die, I will naturally lose the ability to protect her. I just want you to promise me not to hurt her until I die. Can you kill her after I've died? Huo Yuao's body froze. His heart was pained to see an ultimate duo going down on his knees for something so simple. After hesitating for a short while, Huo Yuao replied, As long as Senior Yi doesn't try to flee, I can definitely do what you have requested of me. Long Xiaoyao nodded and said, You can rest assured that you will not regret accepting my request. I will definitely reward you for this. As he spoke, he slowly turned around to face Yu Shishui. The look on his face was instantly replaced with the gentlest expression. Shishui, you are really very beautiful. You have remained so beautiful while I have aged so much. His voice was very gentle as he spoke slowly. It was as though he was confessing something. Yi Shishui flashed a gentle smile on her beautiful face. No, we have both aged. I never thought that I would be able to be with you until our last moments. I am so happy that things are ending this way. Don't be sad. This is the best ending that I can get. Long Xiaoyao's voice started to tremble. Shishui, have you really forgiven me? Are you really willing to forgive me for everything I did to you? Yi Shishui smiled. She seemed to be genuinely happy. Xiaoya, you're really an idiot. In fact, it's not just you. Niu En was also an idiot. Both of you are really idiots. Both of you have been played by me all this while. It's just that both of you are too dumb to realize it. You're really a big idiot. Even though she was laughing, tears were pouring down her face. Why is that? Long Xiaoyao stared blankly at her. Yi Shishui sighed and said, You gave way too much for me in this lifetime. Now that we have both reached the last moments of our lives, let me do something for you. Let me remove the baggage you have been carrying with you all this while, and leave our world happily. I can finally share a lot of things with you. Long Xiaoyao was stunned. In fact, both Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong were stunned. What Yi Shishui was about to say was definitely something she had hidden with her life. What do you plan to tell me? Long Xiaoyao asked. Yi Shishui smiled plainly. That thing. The thing you have always been feeling guilty about actually doesn't exist. If I were to rephrase what I just said, I meant that you did not have to feel guilty about it. The reason is that I had planned it all along. The person whom I was waiting for was you all along, not Niu I was willing to be married to you. What are you saying? Long Xiaoyao could not believe what he had just heard. Huo Yuao could see the fear in his eyes. Long Xiaoyao stared at Yu Shishui and said, Shishui, stop it. Stop speaking. I don't want you to spoil my impression of you. You were perfect back then, at least. Yi Shishui shook her head and said, No, I want to say everything. If I can't let everything out, I can't bear to die. Actually, you don't have to worry about anything. Even though you had been protecting me by my side and were even being used by me for all these years, you had not lost anything. The reason is that you have been protecting a woman who loves you from the bottom of her heart. Do you know that? Long Xiaoyao stared at Yi Shishui in disbelief. Perhaps it was because of the current state of his body, but he was actually losing control of his emotions. Yi Shishui continued. Back then, when both of us
during that time when I was tasked by Zhong Li Wu's father to separate you, he told me how dangerous it was for the Holy Ghost Church to be up against two of the most gifted soul masters of my generation. Hence, I had to turn you against each other. That was the only way we could stop both of you from affecting the development of the Holy Ghost Church. Hence, I proposed that plan and used my body to bait you. After giving you my first time, I created a painful conflict for the three of us. However, only both of you were truly in pain. I had always known what I was doing. I was the sacred lady of the Holy Ghost Church. Ha ha ha. Why you? Long Xiaoya pointed at Yi Shishui as he spat out blood from his mouth. Yi Shishui stared at him gently and said, Xiaoya, please don't be angry. You will only die too quickly for me to finish what I have to say. Perhaps you will be less angry after you have heard what I have to say. After what happened then, I left. However, I did not regret what I had done. I had given my body to the person whom I truly loved. I knew that both you and you end would have to live a life of misery after that. However, I had no choice. Do you know that Zhong Liwu's father would have to kill both of you if my plan had failed? Compared to watching him kill both of you, I would rather watch both of you suffer in misery. After all, you are my love, and you end was a big brother whom I looked up to. How could I not know how nice he was to me? Both of you have always been incredibly important in my heart. Hence, I needed to do that to protect both of you from the Holy Ghost Church. And I succeeded. Both of you ended up becoming ultimate duo. Even though both of you were in pain and misery, we were at the very least still alive. Isn't that right? After a few decades, John Lee Wu's father forced me to bear him a son before he died. He told me how that was the only way he could hand over leadership over to me without any worries. Following which, he helped me become an ultimate duo. That was when I completely became the enemy of Shrek Academy. As the sacred lady of the Holy Ghost Church, I could never really be with either of you. Do you know how much I wanted to be with you that time we met after John Lee Wu's father died? However, I knew I could not. The reason is that I was already the leader of the Holy Ghost Church. As the leader among all evil soul masters, I would ruin your reputation if I were to. Yet together with you, I could only force you to follow me and protect me. This would allow you to continue to be regarded as the Dragon Emperor duo instead of a member of the Holy Ghost Church. I am so happy that you have continued to follow me and protect me even after a hundred years. I might be an immoral and evil soul master, but I am still human. Do you really think I cannot see the feelings you have for me? However, I didn't dare to get together with you. I couldn't bear to see your name destroyed because of me. Hence, I could not let you know about the love I have for you. Now, I can finally explain my love for you. Shia, I have always loved you and you alone. Even though you have followed me and suffered because of me for more than a hundred years, I must tell you that I am definitely deserving of your love. The reason is that I have born a son for you. Do you know that? W, what did you say? Long Xiaoya's jaw dropped after hearing what Yu Shishui had said. His body began to tremble. A son. Shishui is born a son for me. However, it had already been more than a hundred years. Even if he was a powerful soul master, he would have probably died after a hundred years. You probably did not expect that. I knew you would have been very shocked after hearing what I had to say. To be honest, just like you, I have not seen him for more than a hundred years. I don't even know if he's still alive. I can't go and see him, because I can't bear to let him know that his mother is an evil soul master, and the leader of the Holy Ghost Church. I only wish for him to lead a healthy life and be a normal human being. In fact, I don't even want him to be a soul master. Hence, I gave him the surname of Yen, my surname before I joined the Holy Ghost Church. However, fate works in mysterious ways. Our grandson was actually able to get into Shrek Academy by his own merit. He eventually became a disciple of New N. If I had not known that his martial soul was the same as my second martial soul, the Radiant Phoenix, I would not have known that New N had accepted our grandchild as his disciple. In fact, New N did his best to nurture him, and he ended up as the dean of the martial soul department. What? Both Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong could not help but express their disbelief. If not for Yu Shishui's confession today, who would have known that Yen Shaoshi was actually Long Xiaoyao's and Yu Shishui's grandson? You're lying. You're trying to sow discord among the people within the academy. Tang Wutong exclaimed in rage. Yi Shishui smiled as she looked at Long Xiao, who had already been stunned by everything she had said. Is there a need for me to sow discord when things have already come to this stage? Besides, as an ultimate duo, do you think I have to go around and spoil relationships? I am who I am. I say what I say. Of course, I will not go around spreading lies. Xiao should be our grandchild or great-grandchild, judging from his age. However, I have never tried to contact him. I have only gone to check on his bloodline and confirm that he is our descendant. Who are you? I pulled Tang Wutong back and shook his head. Tang Wutong simply could not believe what she was hearing. Long Xiao frowned as he looked at Yi Shishui. Is this all real? I really can't believe it. Why? Why didn't you tell me all of this earlier? Yi Shishui spoke plainly. This is because I was the sacred lady of the Holy Ghost Church. I was the leader of the Holy Ghost Church. I am the supreme leader of the Holy Ghost Church. What could I have told you? I have already done so many immoral and inhuman things. I have the blood of hundreds of thousands of lives on my hands. What would have changed if I told you all of this? So that you would fall deeper in love with me? So that you would become an evil soul master? So that we would drag all of our descendants into the Holy Ghost Church? No. I could not have said all of this to you. In fact, I can't even share them with anyone else. I could only bury all of it in my heart. I can only dream of the momentary sweet moments I had in my dreams. These sweet memories are what prevent me from becoming the true destroyer of the world. Look at this. Yi Shishui raised her arms as a gentle golden flame rose around her body. This is my real trump card. No one would have expected an evil soul master with the blood soul demon puppet to possess a second martial soul. Even Zhongli Wu's father didn't know that I had this martial soul. I did my best to hide it from everyone. The people from the Holy Ghost Church would definitely kill me if they knew I had this martial soul. Hence, I have hidden it for close to 200 years. I had not expected it to be useful today. By using the Phoenix's ability to rise from the ashes, I was able to save both of our lives. Long Xiaoya shook his head and said, I should not have entered. If it was just you alone, you might have been able to survive. You would not have had to ignite your life energy. Yi Shishui shook her head and said, No, if you hadn't entered, I would really have died. My heart would have died. I really wanted you to come in. The only reason why I chose to enter the trap willingly is that I had already become tired of this world. I needed to find a place where I could truly belong. I had planned all of this carefully. Do you think that Xu Tian Ran can actually trick me? Do you think his trap would have been successful if I hadn't entered willingly? I was using this last chance to see if you still loved me, just like a hundred years ago. I am so glad I was right. Xiaoya, thank you for not disappointing me. I am really, really happy. Long Xiaoya's breathing was becoming more pained as he stared at Yu Shishui. However, he remained silent. Yu Shishui lifted her hand and stroked his face gently. What's wrong? Why are you keeping quiet? You have made my life so miserable with all your lies. Long Xiaoya looked up into the sky and bellowed. At that instant, tears streamed from his old eyes. He would never have expected his struggles to be so meaningless. He did not know that he was bearing responsibility for a crime he had never committed. At this instant, he did not feel relieved or happy. He just felt as though he was empty. That sensation was a lot more painful than what he had gone through before. Yi Shishui spoke gently. Xiaoya, this is our last moment together in this world. Even though our lives are ending soon, I want to be your wife from this moment onwards. Will you be my husband? From now on, you no longer have to listen to my orders. I will do whatever you ask me to do and be a good wife, all right? Long Xiaoya stared at Yi Shishui and said, All this while, I thought that you were the person to whom I owe the greatest apology. Now, I finally realize that Nguyen is the one whom we need to apologize to. He must have suffered a lot more pain than we went through. Even though he has died, he still did not know what actually happened all those years ago. You were really cruel to him. Yi Shishui sighed and said, Sometimes, ignorance
Even though you won't be able to make up for everything you have done, let's try to leave something behind on this continent. Let us do something for Brother Mu. How does that sound? Yi Shi Shui smiled and said, I will do anything you ask me to. Long Xiao turned around to face Hua Yuao and Hang Wutong. Yuao, I had originally planned for you to look for me after you reached rank 98. Previously, Sun Zi had written to me about how you had managed to form Yin Yang Compliment Soul Cause. Is that true? Yin Yang Compliment? He actually did it. Yi Shi Shui was very surprised by what she heard. No wonder he was able to take down so many of our evil soul masters. He had actually managed to form Yin Yang Compliment Soul Cause, something which only Tian has managed to accomplish. Tell me, lad, how is your body able to withstand the frightening amount of pressure? Who are you? I chose not to answer Yi Shi Shui's question. He merely nodded at Long Xiao. Since you have already formed your second soul core before becoming an ultimate duo, this means that you will have to form your third soul core when you are pushing for rank 99. I can foresee how that will be incredibly difficult. I originally wanted to help you in your final push, but it seems like I won't have a chance to help you anymore. As I continue to weaken before I die, there is no longer any use for me to hold on to my soul power. If I were to give it to you, it might actually help you to form your third soul core. At the very least, I would actually help you to make history. However, I don't think I can live to see you reach rank 98. I guess I can only pass you the purest thing within my soul power, as well as some of the things I have comprehended in the past few years. This will be the only way I can repay you in. Sing along. I can't accept this. Huo Yuao held his hand before him. He was shocked to learn that Long Xiao was actually looking for him for this. Long Xiao smiled and shook his head. Don't reject my offer. This is my last wish. If you were to reject me, I won't be able to rest in peace. Besides, I would rather pass what I have cultivated to someone rather than let it disintegrate into nothing. You don't have to worry about me handing all of my soul power to you. I will only be passing you the purest and most basic thing within my soul power. I will inject this pure energy into your body and allow you to digest it slowly. At the same time, it will probably help you establish a foundation for your future third soul core. After finishing his sentence, Long Xiao turned around to look at Tang Wutong. To be honest, I didn't expect you to have formed your second soul core too. Is it also a yin yang compliment soul core? Tang Wutong glanced at Huo Yuao before nodding. Yes. I only managed to complete it with Yuao's help. Great. That's great. Shi Shui, I need you to hand your soul power to this lady. This is my final request for you. We will leave our power in their hands. Yi Shi Shui was a little stunned, but she immediately nodded before looking at Tang Wutong. However, Tang Wutong seemed to have a different idea. She shook her head violently and said, I don't want the power of an evil soul master. Yi Shi Shui gave her a bitter smile before saying, I no longer have any power from my evil soul master self. In fact, all of my evil soul power, including the death god pagoda, was destroyed back at the palace. Even my blood sold in the puppet martial soul and my very own body had been destroyed. Can't you tell that I no longer have a body? I am now but a body of energy. The only reason my soul did not shatter was because my cultivation was sufficiently high. I had originally only intended to protect Xiao and get him out alive. I didn't know that he was already severely injured before then. Hence, his life is also coming to an end. You can rest assured that my radiant Phoenix martial soul has not been tainted with one's blood. It only contains the purest radiant power, which is also the kind and gentle side of me. Now, I am no longer the death god Dulo. I am but Long Xiaoya's wife. Yi Shi Shui has already died. Tang Wutong frowned after hearing her words. She still could not overcome the psychological barrier in her heart. At this very instant, an extremely familiar voice rang in her head. She is right. She is no longer the death god Dulo. All of the filthy things in her body died during the explosion. Help them fulfill their final wish. Father. Tang Wutong exclaimed, Who are you Al? Long Xiaoya. And Yi Shi Shui was shocked upon hearing what Tang Wutong had just said. It was important to note that they were all at the pinnacle of the world of soul masters. How could they not know if someone else was also present? Tang Wutong gave them an awkward smile and explained, Sorry, I suddenly remembered something my father told me. All right. I will accept it, but I won't thank you for your gift. Yi Shi Shui smiled. I have never asked anyone for gratitude. I am just doing what my husband wants. Xiao is right. I own you in too much. I'm just glad that I can do something for his disciple in the last few moments of my life. Who are you? I turned to face Long Xiao, only to see the sincerity in his eyes. The three-eyed golden lion skull of destiny did not give him any warning of impending danger. He knew that neither of them were trying to trick them. Sing along. Is there really no way to save you? Who are you? I asked sadly. Long Xiao flickered and reappeared behind him. I have explained myself already. I want to die before Xi Shui. Sit down. As he spoke, he placed one of his hands on Huo Yuao's shoulder. Even though he was already severely injured, the Dragon Emperor Duluo was still incredibly strong. Huo Yuao was forced into a sitting position. Tang Wutong also sat down before Huo Yuao as they faced one another. They could see the sadness and shock in each other's eyes. Long Xiao and Yu Shishui stood behind Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong respectively. They placed their palms behind both of their backs. You two confuse your martial souls, right? I need both of you to start cultivating and slowly receive our soul power. Long Xiao ordered. Okay. Huo Yuao raised his palms and placed them against Tang Wutong's. At that instant, the Hadong power started to flow between them as countless little vortexes began to move between their bodies. Huo Yuao had enveloped his spiritual detection around the four of them. Even though his intuition told him that he would not be in any danger, he knew that he should still be wary of Yu Shishui. After all, she was the most powerful evil soul master within the Holy Ghost Church. If Yu Shishui were to decide to do something bad to Tang Wutong, Huo Yuao would immediately use his swan displacement to switch places with her. He believed that he should still be able to handle her blow, especially with the current state she was in. After a while, it seemed like Huo Yuao's intuition was correct. Long Xiao and Yu Shishui had inserted their soul power in a gentle way into both of their bodies. Long Xiao exclaimed, Yin Yang compliment soul cores are truly remarkable. They are definitely one of the miracles of our world. I have never seen such pure and condensed soul power. In fact, they have fused so well. The two soul Complement one another while providing the necessary opposing forces to build up strength and power. This is truly the best way to train. Yi Shishui nodded and said, That's right. Even though I had twin martial souls, I did not dare to train my radiant phoenix. I have always hidden it from everyone. If not, I might also have had a chance to form my own Yin Yang compliment soul cause. Who knows? They might just be able to challenge Ditian with their human bodies if they are able to become ultimate duo. Long Xiao smiled and said, Then let us be a part of this miracle. Long Xiao and Yi Shishui continued to channel their soul power into Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong's bodies. The soul power they were transferring did not have any elemental type. It was the purest kind of soul power. Their soul power was able to immediately fuse with the Hadong power without any conversion. No wonder they were ultimate duo. They knew exactly how to use their soul power to help others. Both Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong were able to withstand the pressure from the soul power because of their Yin Yang complement soul cores. Their bodies had become a lot more resistant to these forces after forming their second soul cores. The four soul cores in their bodies absorbed the pure soul power greedily as Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong's cultivation improved rapidly. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.